welcome back to my channel my name is Anne and in today's video I'm recreating the makeup look that Ariana Grande had on her Rain On Me music video with Lady Gaga before we jump to the video I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you click the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video let's jump to the look so the look for today I already did on this eye we're gonna recreate it with the other eye so I will start off by applying a black eyeliner just on the inner rim of my eyes this is actually the easiest part of the tutorial I already primed my eyes with my camo concealer from elf uh, before we jump to the graphic eyeliner part, I'm going to apply a taupe shade on the crease of my eye just to really intensify the contours of my eye. So I'm using this shade called Imperial from the Mulan X Colourpop collection. So I'm just going to apply that right here on my crease extend it out a little bit kind of like more catty in shape I'm also gonna come in here on the inner part of my eye and I will just contour that as well look like that you can already see the shape that we're trying to create and then I'm gonna map out the shape of the graphic liner using my NYX full liner pencil in linen and all of the products that I use in this video will be down in this description box. I also have my affiliate links there so you can shop the products that I used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape, I'm just going to follow the natural contour of my eye. So this is just going to be like a rough, kind of like a blueprint for where I want the liner to be so I'm gonna work it like right around the curve of my eye and then I will make sure that the end of this liner here is diagonal to the tip of my brow and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna diagonally connect the line that we did on the lower lash line and connect it with the end of this line right here. Now that we have like a rough shape of how we want the eyeliner to be, we can now move on to the white eyeliner. I'm just using the ColourPop Creme Gel Color in Exit. And you want to apply that on the back of your hand. So use the back of your hand as your palette reason being is i'm using like a small angle brush for this so you definitely want all of that product to be you want the product to be evenly distributed on the lid so you want it to be evenly distributed on the brush as well because otherwise if you pick up too much product you will get like clumps on your eyeliner so you can rest your pinky on your cheek so that you will have like much more balance or you can actually rest your elbow on top of a table so that it's easier for you so that you can use um that technique you can do for when you're applying graphic liner any like wing eyeliner like i did over here any makeup technique that you need your hands to be more stable you definitely want to prop it up on top of a table so that um it's easier for you to do what you need to do so I'm going to follow the line that I did initially and I'm going to use this liner right here. I'm going to come in here like so. You want to be really careful not to drag it out all the way. You want to work slowly in sections. That way you're not dragging the color out too much. If you drag it too fast, you're not going to create a straight line, so you want to do it slowly but surely. I'm just going to keep doing short strokes around my eye area until 
I get the intensity that I want. The key with doing this with a gel liner is to do two coats of the liner. I'm just being very careful not to make the line too thick. That's why I'm really working kind of slow. I think I'm happy with that and I'm going to taper that right here. Okay. So I think I'm happy with the shape of that already. Um, I think I got what I want. I definitely would re-intensify this by just adding one more coat of the white eyeliner on top of this. So I'm also going to add that white eyeliner right underneath my lash line. Now, we're going to do a winged eyeliner next on this side of my eye. So I noticed that her eyeliner was taken in up to inside right here, kind of like a cat eye look. So I'm going to do that as well. So I know that I do have like, kind of like the liner crease inside my eye. My eye is not shaped for this liner look but I improvise so that I can get the same effect so I'm just gonna grab this is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner I really like this because it's so easy to work with really smooth too when you're doing a liner look and it's easy to do a wing line with this one so I'm gonna start by lining right here on the base of my lash I am going to do the outer wing before I do the inner wing, so I will just angle my hand. You can rest your pinky on your cheek and I'm just going to angle the brush um, opposite the direction of the handle, like this. So instead of like that, I'm just going to do like this. That way, the, the brush is sitting on your lash line. Because that brush, once it sits on your lash line, it will create that wing effect already. And I'm going to show you in a second. So, like this. There. You see how easy that is to um, achieve if you angle your liner like this? You can do it with any eyeliner. You can do it with like um, liquid liners that come in like felt tip. Um, you can do it with like gel liner with your brush. Just make sure that you're angling it away from away from the wing instead of doing it like that. You do it like this way. <laughs> so I will just extend that because I noticed in the picture it's like almost touching the tip of the graphic liner. Okay, so for the inner corner of the eye, um, you want to make sure that this eye right here is directly across the outer corner of your eye. That way you know that you made it right. So I'm gonna make sure that I am doing it. It should like it should look like it's an extension of your outer corner lash line. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to look down and I'm going to create like a small triangle and then I'm going to connect that on the lower lash so, so that we don't have any gaps right here. This next step, we will do a little bit more shading on the eyes so that we can get the maximum effect of the graphic eyeliner. I'm going to use that taupe shade to deepen the outside boundaries of that white eyeliner. So you want to do this because it creates a nice contrast. Your line will look crisper if you do this, this step right here. So I'm just doing that all over, just right on the edges of that white eyeliner. So don't worry about this, we're gonna clean that up later. So you wanna do it right here as well. 
right underneath the liner that we just placed earlier underneath the eyes. And then we're going to do this on top as well. Time for mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. So now that we're done with the eyes, we're going to move on with complexion. Priming my face with the Benefit Professional Primer. This will make us look really nice and flawless and pore-free. Right, I'm gonna use a slightly tanner base because I wanna emulate Ariana Grande's glow in that video. So I'm just gonna spread this It Cosmetic CC Cream all over my skin. This is in the shade light medium. So underneath my eyes, I just use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer just to really highlight that area. And I'm tapping it away with my beauty blender. I'm gonna use my NARS Laguna Bronzer. So I'm gonna add some sparkle to my face. This is the shadow from the palette I was using earlier. And this is really nice. It's so reflective. It does have a little bit of glitter in it. That's fun. Pretty. I like that. Put that a little bit right here. I really like this color. This is really pretty with that. That highlight is popping. As for blush, I chose a more neutral blush because Ariana Grande didn't really have any like heavy blush on the video. So I am using this ColourPop blush in Matchmaker just over the cheek and I'm putting it right between my bronzer and my highlight. So for the lips, I'm going to use more of like a muted brown lip color combo because I noticed that in the video, she has just like a nudey pinky brown. So I'm starting off with Spiffy. This is from Morphe. Just all over my lip line. The top of my liner with some of ColourPop's lipstick. This is in Hua Mulan. And this is like the perfect pinky brown. Okay. And then for gloss, I'm gonna use, this is from ColourPop as well. It's called Visroy. Oh my God, I love this lip gloss. So that's the finished look. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I had so much fun recreating this look and that music video is everything. All the products that I use in the video are going to be in the description box. You can shop my affiliate links down below for the products that I used in the video. Also. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more of me in the future. Click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on the next video. Bye!